Yeah, that is definitely a big difference. So you can get our ramp cocked upwards. And looks like at any minute, the water can come right up over the edge of the wall. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now I'll show you something really neat. In the last several videos that we did as far as a lake update, and we talked about the drought that we were going through, I was actually walking out through the lake and it was right through here is where I was walking. All this was dry ground. I'll link those videos down below if you wanna go see what it looked like. However, I was able to walk all the way out that last buoy right there. And in those videos, I mentioned that <clears throat> that last buoy is around eight foot deep, but yet it was dry ground. That meant the water was down quite a bit. Well, as you can tell now, the water's back up. Um, and the water is actually at a very scary level right now, because if you look back here behind me, it is fixing to crest our seawall. If it does that, of course, it's going to flood our shop out. Um, and it wouldn't be the first time that happened. Back in the early days of Lake Hickory Scuba, we actually had a ton of water inside the store where the water came up. And basically what happened then is over here at the hydro station or the dam over there, the lift gates, the elevator that lifts up the gates failed to operate. And so the water had got so high up due to local rainfall, things like that. And the water was going over the lift gate and it was going over the spill well, and it was completely going up over the, uh, the elevators and things like that. And we actually flooded water came up, came into the store. And of course it flooded us out. So it's not the first time that it's happened. If it happens this time, which I don't think it is, because if you look closely, you'll see, and I don't know if I can zoom in for you. Nope. If you look really close, you will see that there's two full gates wide open right now. So they are flowing tons of water out of this lake right now to help lower that. The problem with that is that water will go through the dam or through the wall of the dam or through the gates and it will flood the lake that's below us, which is Lake Lookout as well. And I wanna show you really quick, take a quick look at this. This is from Duke Pyre. This is their Lakeview app. And you will actually see the water levels. You'll see it starting at Lake James, going all the way through the Catawba River. We're the third lake on there. We're Lake Hickory. So you can see we're at 99.9 .9 as far as where our water level should be. Target right now is around 96. Max is at 100. If it hits 100, we will flood at the store. We're at 99.9 .9 right now. So it is kind of scary for us. But the reason that they've got to control it is because we get so much rainfall normally throughout the year. Well, we were in a drought and they took all the water away for a while. And then when we came out of the drought, they started to raise the water level just by shutting the flow of the water off and letting it raise. Well, we just got hit with just an amazing amount of rain in one day. And the water literally went from, I think, 95 feet all the way up to 100. So we've had five foot of raise in basically a day. So when you think of the physics there, we've always told people one inch of rain gives us four inches of water raise. So we've had a little more than an inch of rain here for it to come up that fast in one day's time. But what's the purpose of this? Why am I making this video to kind of give you an update? One, I want you to know about our lake. Right now is actually a phenomenal time to come dive. The water is deep or deeper. Yes, the sun's not out. We're actually still getting a little bit of rain today, but it's a great time to come dive. Yes, it's cold. You need a seven mil, you need a dry suit, but the water is clear. Clear to us in our lake is five to 10 foot. I would venture to say we're gonna have 15 to 20 foot of viz right now. Even out here in our training area, it should be good and clear to dive. So don't negate or, you know, don't be afraid to dive your local environments. There's gonna be plenty to see. And right now, no boats. There's nothing going on to disturb the water. We barely have any turbidity. Right now, it's probably about six foot right here. And I can actually just barely see the bottom. So I know I've got at least six foot of visibility. <clears throat> but the water's coming up. It's a great time to get out dive. 
don't negate your local environments. They're great training grounds for you, and you never know what you're going to actually find in here. But uh, I just wanted to make this quick update. I wanted you to show you how quickly our lake changes here. It'll go from full pond, which is 100 feet, to target, which is 96, 97 feet, down to flood or down to a drought condition, which is 94, 95 feet, in a matter of one day. And so I just want to give you guys that update to let you know our water level's back up. It's actually a little higher than we need it to. We need it to drop just a little bit more, but we had just, you know, detrimental amount of rainfall just come in yesterday. And so, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. But guys, I wanted to give you that update, let you know our water has come back up. I'm going to show you here on the seawall really quick where it's at. We're at 99.9% at 100%. It comes over the seawall. So if you look here, that's roughly about 10 inches. So 10 more inches, and we still have two lakes that's up above us flowing down into the hires, and it probably will for the next week or so. So there ain't no telling. I would venture to say in the next day or so, that water is going to be up here above the seawall. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm actually leaving in a few days to go to Mexico for a week. So I may not be able to make a video on this but i'm gonna have our uh full security cameras all the way around here keep track on our uh water levels and i've also got staff that's going to be working while we're going as well and so they're they're going to keep some uh video footage coming to me to let me know how it is and of course i'll update you guys when i get back as well because i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you understand water conditions change all the time just because they raise or lower you can still get out there go dive and have a good time but that's going to do it for today guys to our next video take care god bless and i'll see you in the next one